What is your name, please? My name is Ricky Starr. What is your name, please? My name is Ricky Starr. What is your name, please? My name is Ricky Starr. Two of these people are imposters. Only one of them is the real Ricky Starr and is the only one sworn to tell the truth. Zeriman. The important new advance for relief of common rheumatic and arthritic-like pain presents To Tell the Truth. <laughs> and now, here's our host and dealer in fact and fiction, Bud Collier. Thank you, and good evening. This is a game, as you know by now, of deliberate misrepresentation, wherein four presumably smart people try to find out which one of three challengers is sworn to tell the truth. And uh, now, as our first order of business, let's meet our cross-examiners. What is your name, please? My name is Polly Bergen. My name is Hume Cronin. My name is Hildy Park. My name is Dick Van Dyke. And I can attest that these people are telling nothing but the truth. <laughs> now, standing right up here are three people, all of whom claim to be the same person, by name, Ricky Starr. To tell the truth, only one of these people is the real Ricky Starr. The other two have assumed that identity in an attempt to fool our cross-examiners, and of course, they don't have to stick to the truth. Now, panel, if you'll open the envelope in front of each of you, you'll find a photostatic copy of an affidavit. Will you please listen while I read it? I, Ricky Starr, am a professional wrestler with a current string of 136 consecutive wins. As a professional ballet dancer, I once appeared as a soloist with the St. Louis Municipal Opera. And I have also danced with the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo. My hobby is cooking. And I have a library of more than 500 books on the subject. I swear that the above statement is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Signed, Ricky Starr. I'm going to play our game, panel. These three people all claim to be Ricky Starr, professional wrestler. Now remember, panel, only the real Ricky Starr is required to answer your questions truthfully. Each of you, as before, will question for just 30 seconds at a clip for a total of five minutes. At the end of that time, you'll be asked to register your vote for the one person who, in your opinion, is the real Ricky Starr. And let's give our first opportunity to question for 30 seconds to Polly Bergen. Polly? Number one, uh, it says that you uh, work at the St. Louis Municipal Opera uh, what kind of a theater is that? The Midwestern Opera Company. Uh, is it a, uh, a regular theater? Yes. Uh, number two, do you agree is that just a regular theater? Oh, very definitely. I see. Number three, uh, what kind of a theater is the St. Louis Municipal Opera? St. Louis Municipal Opera is one of the largest outdoor theaters in the world. I see. Number one, uh, you say you're a professional wrestler. Hey, stop you, Polly. You and Cronin. Number three, what is an entrechat? Number three, an entrechat is, uh, well, in French meaning, an entrechat means to weave. And uh, three, what is a pas de deux? Pas de deux, that's a dance for two. Uh, what is Lachine's first name? Lachine or Michelin? Lachine. David. What is Aglepsky's first name? Andre. I've run out. <laughs> so is the bell. Saved by the bell. Hildy? Number two, uh, when you were with the uh, Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo and you were warming up, how long a bar did you do every day? Oh, at least 20 minutes. And uh, what would you start with generally? Well, first the for basic five positions and then adaptations of those into the other steps. I see. And uh, you have been, you are now currently a professional wrestler? Yes. Um, what is the, uh, what do you have to do to win a wrestling match? Well, you have to accomplish two out of three falls. And is there something about, um... Yes, there is. Dick <laughs> something I would finish it if I knew what it was, at least. Um, number one, um, what is an arabesque? Arabesque is, uh, to raise your leg. 
Right. Uh, what did you do with the uh, St. Louis Municipal Opera? Did you dance? I danced. As a, as a ballet dancer? Yes. Uh, it's uh, the dream of almost every young uh, potential ballet dancer to dance with the Rusta Monte Carlo. How did you happen to dance with them? I made an audition. An audition? Yes. Uh, for uh, one performance or for a tour? For a tour. I see. Number uh, two, who recognized... Have to hold you there, Dick. Sorry. Back to Polly. Uh, number one is the um, wrestling champion of the world an amateur or a professional? A professional. Uh, number two, uh, do you agree with number one? Oh, very definitely. Yes. Uh, number three, is the uh, wrestling champion of the world a professional it's or... very amateur? definitely a professional. A professional. Uh, number one, could you tell me, is a hammerlock uh, legal... Yes. Number two, do you agree with that? Yes. Number three? Yes. Uh, number three, um, when you're wrestli uh, wrestling, uh, I'm so glad you stopped me. I didn't know what I was going to say. You know where you're going, Polly. You? Number three, who is Mrs. Beaton? Mrs. who? Beaton. Beaton, I don't know that. Number two, Mrs. Beaton? Uh, wife of Cecil Beaton. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Wife of Cecil Beaton. Well, <laughs> number one, who is Mrs. Beaton? I think it's the wife of Arthur Beaton. I beg your pardon? The wife of Arthur Beaton. Uh, number three, who is Peggy Harvey? Peggy Harvey? Harvey. Peggy Harvey, I don't know that either. Number two? No, I'm know. afraid I don't. Tilly? Who is Mrs. Beaton? <laughs> <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> number one, uh, who wrote The Joy of Cooking? I don't remember exactly. Number two, do you know? No, I don't. I just bought it under that title. Oh, really? Well, I was about to tell you. I lost my head. Um, number three, what is the exact meaning of the word sauté? Sauté means it's a small jump. Uh, in cooking. Sauté. Now, wait, are you referring to cooking or ballet? I never realized it had both. I'm off on cooking now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I see. We're back in the kitchen. What's the meaning of sauté? Sauté. Oh, come on. To leave it, I'm sorry. I have to leave it in the kitchen, Hilly. Dick? <laughs> number one, uh, what is sauté? Number, number one. Sauté is something that you do it in the skillet. You do it in a skillet. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. uh, number one, uh, were you ever a singer? I like to sing in the bathtub. You're not, no, you're not a professional? No. Who's recognized as, as possibly the greatest male ballet dancer? Today? Uh, well, no, in the history of ballet. Nijinsky. Number two, who would you... Back we come again to Polly. Third crack you've had at it, Polly. Bye. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> number two, uh, what is the definition of sauté? <laughs> to, to fry and butter. To fry and butter. Uh, number two, uh, how long have you been a professional wrestler? Oh, about four years, I guess. What made you go into it? Well, I had been dancing and was very friendly with a wrestler who showed me a few holes. <laughs> I'd like to try it. I'd like to money on it. <laughs> One way to go into it? Obviously, we need, we need your friend up here. <laughs> uh, you have 500 books on cooking, number two. Approximately. Yeah, I've done that all wrong. I have to say, number two, have you 500 books on cooking? Approximately. Name a couple of them. Well, I have the Fanny Farmer cookbook, which I'm sure you probably have, too. And then I have Maida Givens' uh, Encyclopedia of Cooking, and uh, one by Escoffier. It brings us to the end of our questioning period panel. It's time to separate fact from fiction. Now remember, the amount of money which our challengers can win will depend on the accuracy of your individual selection. And while you're making up your minds, here's one last opportunity for you to look at the team of challengers so that you and the people at home can make up their minds. Whether the real Ricky Star is number one, number two, or number three. Okay, now remember there will be four votes cast, one vote from each member of our panel. The team of challengers will get $250 for every incorrect vote. If they're all incorrect, that's a total of $1,000. Panel, are you ready to vote? No. <laughs> all right, how about it, are you? I okay. guess. Polly Bergen, what is your vote? Um, I don't know who it is, so I'll vote for number three. <laughs> Hume Cronin, for whom do you vote? I vote for number three. 
<coughs> Hildy Park, <coughs> for whom do you cast your vote? Well, there's pleasure in company. I vote for number three. Dick Van Dyke. I'll make my wild guess number two. All right, quick recapitulation. For number one, no votes. For number two, one vote. For number three, three votes. Okay, panel, are we ready to see if we did as well as last week when we got nobody? <laughs> <laughs> All right, get set now. Here we go. Will the real Ricky Starr please stand up? Oh. <laughs> Ricky, you made them all feel very good. I don't know whether to call number one a, uh, a good liar or a bad one, but nobody voted for poor number one. <laughs> Suppose you tell us who you really are and what you do. My name is Nicola Moscona, boss of the Metropolitan Opera. Oh. <laughs> Opera. And number two, you squeak through with Dick Van Dyke's one vote. What do you do and who are you? My name is Barbara Terry. I live in New York City, and I'm an Avon sales lady. And you don't have to rest <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah. That was a pretty successful start, panel. Do you have any other quick questions you'd like to ask? Uh, yes, Dick. I thought beginning number one was a singer. Uh, sir, could you prove that you really sing bass with the Met Metropolitan? Why don't believe me? Prove <laughs> 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 <That's laughs> some Oh, you yes, if we can have mm -hmm. proof, I want to see number three do a tour jeté. A tour jeté? Well, or an arabesque, or one of those things they call it. In a frying pan. Question for me, do you ever do that in the ring when you're wrestling? Always, it's my trademark. Ah, we know more now. Hume? I'll send you a copy of Mrs. Beaton and Peggy Harvey in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Polly, one quick one. Time is about. I, I'm only sorry that it wasn't number two because I wanted to ask her to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations to our, our team of challengers now. Let's find out on another recapitulation just how you stand. We had exactly uh, one, two, three correct votes, only one incorrect vote. That means from Zaraman you receive $250. And our congratulations for being a swell team. Thank you very much. <laughs> and now may we have our next team of challengers, please. What is your name, please? My name is Patricia Stahelman. What is your name, please? My name is Patricia Stahelman. What is your name, please? My name is Patricia Stahelman. And two of these people are imposters. Only one of them is the real Patricia Stahelman and is the only one sworn to tell the truth. Okay, there we have, panel, our second problem for the evening. These three people all claim to be Patricia Stahelman. And as you know, only the real Patricia Stadelman has sworn to tell the truth. So if you look in front of you again and follow along, I'll read this affidavit. I, Patricia Stadelman, am the receptionist in Jackie Gleason's office. I am also secretary to all Jackie's fan clubs, and as such, read and answer all of his fan mail. I was a beauty contest winner. At one time in my career, I was a professional dancer and I have appeared in three motion pictures. I am an ardent New York Yankee fan. Incidentally, I have an identical twin sister. I swear that the above statement is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Signed, Patricia Stadelman. All goes to work again now. 
Once more, we have a game ahead of us, and these three people all claim to be Patricia Stadelman. She is receptionist in Jackie Gleason's office. Now, remember, panel, again, only the real Patricia Stadelman is sworn to tell you nothing but the truth. Each of you will question again, 30 seconds at a clip, total of five minutes, at which time you'll be asked to register your opinion by vote as to which one is the real. Patricia Stadelman. This time, we'll give the first uh, 30 seconds to Dick Van Dyke. Dick? Uh, number one. What is your name? <laughs> Patricia Saddleman. <laughs> and what is your sister's name? Jean. <laughs> Number two. You're Jean Saddleman. Uh, my name is Patricia Saddleman. <laughs> what is your sister's name? Anne. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Oh, where were you born? Syracuse, New York. Up to this end, Polly Bergen. Number three, uh, do you also have an identical twin? Yes, sir. That seems reasonable. Um, <laughs> uh, number three, could you tell me uh, who is the producer of the Jackie Gleason show? Jack Hurdle. I beg your pardon? Jack Hurdle. Jack Hurdle. Number two, who is the producer of the Jackie Gleason show? Jack Hurdle. Number one, who is the producer of the Jackie Gleason show? Jack Hurdle. And uh, who is Jackie Gleason's personal manager? Bullets Durgham. Number two, could you tell me who uh, Jackie Gleason's director is? Frank Pantenstein. Oh, these girls really know the, the <laughs> truth, don't they? Uh, Hume Cronin. Sorry, Polly. Uh, number three, you've appeared in motion pictures? Yes, sir. Where did you make your pictures? In New York. At what studio? Paramount. Uh, who is your cameraman? Well, I was only five years old at the time. I really don't remember. <laughs> Sorry I brought it up. Uh, are you, uh, have you got an agent? No, sir. Well, I'm The bell isn't. Hildy? Uh, number three, where was this beauty contest? It was in New York City. And how long ago was it? When I was five. Oh, and that's what led you into the motion picture field, huh? Yes, I see. Number one, uh, where was your beauty contest? Uh, McConnellsville, New York. Where in New York? McConnellsville. Oh, uh, where was Jean? <coughs> My sister? Yes. She was also in McConnellsville. Uh, was she in the same beauty contest? Yes, she was. Well, how did the judges figure that one out? <laughs> how come they picked you? Uh, I don't know, to tell you the truth. Number two? <laughs> Good answer, to tell the truth. Dick? Uh-huh. <laughs> Number two, who directed Jackie Gleason's show last Saturday night? Frank Fantenstein. Number three, who directed the Gleason show last Saturday? I don't know. Number one, who, direct, who directed the show last Saturday? Frank Fantenstein. Mm. Number two, where were you born? Bayside, Long Island. <laughs> where was Ann born? <laughs> You'd have to ask her. Oh, is she not here? Couldn't tell you. Oh, you could two places. Real invasive. Polly? I want to know where Ann is, number two. Number two? Yes. Couldn't tell you. Why couldn't you tell me? Don't know. You don't know where your sister is? Is this a true no. answer? Because I'm trying to learn, you know, from your answers. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh, you couldn't tell me. Do you have a, a, a sister named Ann, number two? That's right. Number one, um... Uh, do you have a sister named Ann? No. You're lucky, because I was going to ask you where she was. <laughs> um, number one, uh, who is Jackie Gleason's agent? Number three, who is Jackie Gleason's agent? You? Number three, who is Jackie Gleason's agent? <laughs> you mean the agency? Yes. Uh, no. Who represents him? Bullet Sturgeon is his personal, his personal manager. manager. Music Corporation of America, Jerry Cass. Uh, <laughs> where is Mr. Gleason's office? At the Park Sheridan Hotel. And you work there? Yes, sir. What are your office hours? <laughs> <laughs> and what are you doing later? 9.30 to 5.30. <laughs> Do you get a coffee break? Yes, sir. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Number three, who sponsors the Jackie Gleason show? Bulliver and Old Gold. Bulliver watches? Yes. And uh, what is the name of the poodle of Jackie Gleason's secretary? Moppet. Moppet. And how many floors in your office? 
How many floors? Yeah. Two. Uh, number two, uh, would you tell me um, where the motion pictures were made that you appeared in? In Hollywood. Oh. And that's it, panel. I think you've had enough time now, so you should be able to successfully separate fact from fiction once again. And also, once again, a final look at the team of challengers so that you and the people at home can decide whether the real Patricia Stadelman is number one, number two, or number three. Again, of course, there will be four votes cast, one for each member of our panel, and the team of challengers will get $250 for every incorrect vote. So if the team has fooled the entire panel, $1,000 is waiting there. Panel, are you, are you ready to vote? You are. Okay, Dick looks like he's still mulling things over there, but if you're all set, here we go now. Polly Bergen, for what is your hunt time, of vote? And for the first time, I'm positive, so I'm probably wrong. I vote for number three. Hume Cronin, for whom do you cast your vote? I vote for number three. Ellie Parks, your vote is for... Shouldn't be a total loss, number three. Dick Van Dyke, rugged individualist before. <laughs> That's right, bud, number three. <laughs> All right, a quick recap, as you can see now. For number one, no votes. For number two, no votes. For number three, the unanimous choice, four votes. Well, you've gone right down the line for this one, panel. Are you ready? Okay. Will the real Patricia Stadelman please stand up? Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you very much, Pat. What is your twin sister's name? Janet. Janet, and where is she tonight? In Ohio. In Ohio. Well, now let's find out about the other two. You've got no votes, either one of you <laughs> two pretty twins there. Uh, number one, what is your real name and what do you do? Ann Harden. I'm a housewife from McConnellsville, New York. And a happy one, I can see that. Sure. Number two? Jean Creelman, a housewife from Bayside, Long Island. Anybody want to find out where Ann is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's here. Hilda, you have a question. What do you want? Our number one and two twins. Our number one and two twins? Yes, yes, they are. So. Well, I just wanted to be absolutely certain because some of the questions confused me. Well, just don't forget, point. they weren't supposed to be telling the truth. They no. Oh, that's what? right. I keep forgetting. At one point there, I forget who it was. Oh, I think it was, it was me. I he got said, angry. Now, are you telling me the I truth? I got angry. I wanted, you know, I didn't want to be fooled around. Hume, did you have a question you want to ask? No, answer? Dick? not one. Are, are, you really, are you twins or triplets? There's no, not a third twins. one. Just, no, just two. Oh, boy, that is confusing. <laughs> Well, I want to say you did a mighty good job there, uh, challengers. You did successful lying, and you weren't lying half the time, which made it even more deceptive. Polly. I would like to ask number three, or, uh, 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 you know, but I don't, I can't remember her real name now, I'm so used to saying number three, uh, Pat Steinle. Uh Was your sister in the beauty contest with you? No. Oh, because when they said that, I thought if it was, I wondered how they did pick the one. That would be a very interesting uh, problem. <laughs> Tilly? Did you really make movies when you were five years old? Yes. What, were they like our gang comedies? Yes. Days, or what? Uh, oh, no, yes. All right. Well, you did a good job, believe me. It was awfully nice having the three of you here. A little quick recapitulation shows that it was a unanimous vote, in which case, of course, you didn't fool anybody. And so there still will be a consolation prize for each one of you of $50, and we thank you very much for being with us tonight. Good night and good luck. Thank you. Now it's time to say good night to our esteemed panel, whose names, in case you have forgotten, are... My name is Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. <laughs> My name is Jessica Tamby. <laughs> I'm Anastasia, I think. <laughs> I'm Mickey McGuire. Oh, <laughs> and to tell the truth, my name is Bud Collier, saying goodbye until next week. Good night, everybody. Travel arrangements for to tell the truth are made through American Airlines. American Airlines flies our contestants in luxurious comfort for DC-7 flagship. To Tell the Truth is the Mark Goodson, Bill Codman production in association with the CBS Television Network.